Welcome to UbiCloud Pack channel. I'm gonna demo today the GWT plugin for Apache Gmeter provided by UbiCloud Pack. This plugin enables easy performance testing of GWT RPC based application through transformation of GWT RPC format to XML to be able to correlate data from it, extract data from it, assert, etc. So, what I have done uh, before is to set up a Gmeter 5.3. I just downloaded from this page the last version. I installed a GDK 8 or 11, it can be an open GDK, and I have installed Gmeter plugins, which just consist of downloading this jar and putting it in Gmeter libx folder, as you can see here. With latest release of the GWT plugin, we have made the plugin available through Gmeter plugins, which makes it much simpler to install and uh, enables easier access through tools like Taurus. So let's start. I will start Gmeter. Since Gmeter plugins is installed, I can see this icon here. I will click on it and I will search for UbiCloud Pack. So here is the plugin. As you can see, uh, you get a screenshot, uh, description, a link to the help, which provides all the installation steps, the detailed installation steps that I'm exposing here. I will check the checkbox and restart Jimmy. What will happen is that I will get a pop-up asking me for a trial license. I can click on this link, which so we go to the trial page to request a trial. I have already filled my information here. So I so select the GWT plugin, enter your mail twice to be ensured there is no error in it. Uh, give us some advice, some information on your use case and check those two checkbox and ask for a free evaluation key. In few minutes, you should receive a mail similar to this one. This mail, this mail provide a few things. The, the trial license that I will download. The pricing sheet, which gives information about the feature of the plugin and the pricing policy. And a link to the full bundle of the plugin. So this bundle uh, was the initial way to do to do installation, but it's still useful to download it because it contains, among other things, uh, the, the full PDF documenta reference documentation of the plugin. So now I have downloaded the license. I will point to it. So here it is. I select it, and now the plugin has been downloaded the license configured and I can now do the last step. So to do it I have my uh, I have installed uh, the Dyna table sample from GWT. Uh, if you do GWT development you know this, I guess this sample here. Uh, so this it is installed in my Tomcat web apps and it is expanded the expanded war of of the Dyna table uh, application is here. So I will select. I will tell the Gmeter plugin to that it's located there. So I will use this menu here called ULP Collect Jar from Application, and I will follow the instruction, which is to point to this file. So I go to web app. I select Dyna table. And notice here, next for now is disabled. When I select the correct folder, it is now enabled and I have this message saying that the plugin has successfully collected application jar and classes. I can click to next step. And you have two options to configure your uh, application jars. Either you collect 
from the folder where the plugin has put those jars and classes you put all those content inside gmeter lib or you can isolate it from gmeter jars by using this the option 2 here so i will use this option because i find it more maintainable for big applications and what i f i will follow the instruction saying to edit user dot properties so i'm here in user in gmeter bin folder i will edit user properties and i will add this okay and now i can finish and i will restart gmeter I'm now ready to, to start the recording if I want just to show you what hap has happened now so now I have a few things available through the plugin in the view result tree I have two specific renders that are very useful for correlation we will see in the next video what they provide and I have two elem four elements that have appeared the ULP GWG preprocessor and the two pros processors here GLP post processor. in the next video I will show how to record and replay uh, using this plugin a G on, a GW on this GWT RPC application if you would like to follow our videos you can follow our UB Cloud Pack channel on YouTube. You can follow us on Twitter. You will find all the information about the plugin on the on our website, the YouTube channel, what our customers say, our asks on Stack Overflow uh, account, and all required information about all our plugins. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I. I wish you the best. See you next time for our next video.